Oh, a Channel 4 News exclusive tonight, an inside look at a secret junkyard in Orange County. It is a car morgue with creepy and terrifying stories to tell. Behind its locked gates sit the wrecked automobile relics once driven by notorious serial killers and sometimes to pick up their prey. Tracy Savage now with our exclusive story. Tracy? Well, Paul, it is like nothing else you'll find anywhere in this country. A ghoulish collection of cars belonging to killers, some whose names we've never heard of and some whose names we will never forget. Walking through this creepy junkyard is like walking the halls of a murder museum. For several years in the late 70s, the man behind this wheel terrorized Southern California. We were getting bodies probably on the average of, of every week or two. Picking up teenagers and then in the back of his van, raping, torturing, and strangling his victims. The man dubbed the freeway killer admitted to murdering 21 boys, the youngest 12 years old. It is the judgment of this court that the defendant, William George Bonin, shall be put to death. While William Bonin was executed in 1996, the van he used to commit these gruesome crimes is still around. The green carpet, which fibers linked him to his victims, now torn, shredded. Joe Austin is the caretaker of a car morgue of sorts, a secret junkyard in Orange County. Behind locked gates and barbed wire, rusted out reminders of murder. Dozens of cars with ugly, awful pasts. It, it's, it's eerie because, you know, you know people were tortured and people were killed and, and the vehicles look so common. You know, you, you think, did I pass that car? Car after car, each with its own creepy tale of terror. Two cars down from Bonin's van is this truck owned by Mark Hilbin. He's the Dana Point postal worker who went on a shooting spree in the early 1990s, killing two and attempting to kill seven others. And then there's this car, owned by perhaps the most prolific serial killer in history. When Randy Kraft was stopped by police in 1983, there was a dead Marine slumped over in the passenger seat. He'd been strangled with a belt. On the floor, 47 photographs of victims, and in the trunk, a scorecard, a coded notebook with a tally of his kills. There were more than 65 names. Many times he tortured them while they were alive. Many times he, he tortured them post-mortem, meaning after they were dead. Basically a really sick guy. Very sick. Orange County that, homicide um, detective Bob Blackburn has never heard of a car lot anywhere else right with here, this much morbid history. When you think about the number of victims, that are associated with these vehicles, it's just astronomical. A lot of death, a lot of sorrow, a lot of sympathy for the victims' families, and a lot of tears were shed over these cases. The Sheriff's Department keeps the location of this junkyard a closely guarded secret. Even Detective Blackburn had never been here before today. He says there are just too many ghoulish people out there who might want a souvenir of a serial killer. And Orange County keeps these cars just in case they're needed in court down the road. Even Bonin's van, they had to keep that for a full three years after his execution. Well, that time has now expired, and that vehicle, well, it could be auctioned off. One less creepy car in that secret car morgue. Paul Colleen, back to you. Tracy, they auction them and don't destroy them? Well, it's kind of up in the air what they're going to do with uh, Bonin's van. It's been sort of thrown up. Will they auction it or will they just have it uh, destroyed? They haven't decided yet. They're probably people who pay good money for it. Absolutely. That is yeah. what they're More thinking about. Curiosity. Wow. All right, Tracy, thank you. Columbine High School students.